A young Cheshire mother is forced to avoid eye contact with anybody. Why? Kirsty Brown, 32, from Morthwich, suffers from cataplexy, which means any strong emotion can trigger muscle paralysis. Kirsty's brain disorder means that she has to avoid eye contact with anyone she finds attractive so that she doesn't lose control of her body. On average, this day at home, mum has five cataplexy attacks per day. But on a bad day, she can have up to 50, meaning she can't leave the house. The mum of two is forced to keep her head down in public to avoid hurting herself when her knees buckle. Kirsty told reporters, it's so embarrassing. I was out once and saw someone that looked all right and my legs just went. And I had to cling on to my cousin for support. If I see someone attractive, my legs just go and I try not to put myself in situations where that could happen. Or I try to keep my eyes down for my own safety. Kirsty's condition is often associated with the sleep disorder narcolepsy. And can also be triggered by anger, laughter, fear and loud noises. Kirsty says, Considering it's a sleep disorder, we don't sleep much, and when we do, it isn't a deep sleep, so I'm really tired. So if I'm really tired, I have more attacks than usual. I can have an attack at the top of a flight of stairs if they're steep, because I don't like heights. I'm trying to move to a new house that doesn't have stairs, or where I can have a stair lift. Anger and laughter trigger it, and me and my sisters are either arguing or making each other laugh because they're the funniest people I know. Sometimes I think they know what they're doing because at the time they know I won't hurt myself, so they'll make me laugh on purpose. But even if I find myself funny, I can have an attack. It's any strong emotion or loud noises like beeping cars or shouting. I haven't had an attraction that strong recently that I would trigger an attack, which on the one hand is brilliant, but also a bit sad because I'd like to feel attracted to someone. There's been times when I've been arguing, and I've collapsed, which does put an end to the argument. I'm due to have physio on my back because I hurt it recently when I had a real bad attack. Kirsty was born with the narcolepsy gene, but the cataplexy was brought on early by a head injury when she was just nine years of age. Kirsty said, Me and some friends were throwing stones into a tree to get conkers, and one hit me on the head. It has been a struggle because I brought my kids up on my own, and it's hard to find a job when you need to explain that you could collapse at any point. When I have an attack, I don't feel anything go through my body. It's like a short circuit from the brain to the muscle is interrupted, and I just lose control of my legs. But the top half of my body stays feeling strong. Well. I'll stop parenting at 7.30 in the evening. Anything that happens after that is up to them. That's the words of Constance Hall, who has revealed how she makes it work as a mum of a large family. Sharing her secrets to reporters how the family operates, Perth resident Constance gave a refreshingly honest explanation. Constance said, Each day I check out of parenting around 7.30 in the evening after a long day of parenting. I tell the kids anything you need and after that that's not an emergency is up to you to do. I'm not your mum. I'm not here. I'm not your slave. I'm just a statue of a woman who an hour ago wiped your bum and is now drinking wine chatting on the phone to her sister. After 7.30pm each day, if any of the kids try to phone her, Constance jokes that she's out of service in the car and typically wears headphones. When it comes to bath time, Constance says she doesn't force her kids to shower every day if they don't want to. Constance told reporters, My kids don't have to take a bath or shower every day. They can quite often skip that part of the routine if it's getting everybody down. I'm like, 
Fine, stinky, go to school and gross everybody out. Talking about meal times, Constance says, I prefer picnic style dinners for a cheaper option that gets things done. I tell the kids to eat with your hands. Dishes are the worst part of dinner. In other cultures, everyone eats with their hands off the same plate. I often put a huge pile of vegetables along with another plate of sliced meat or whatever I'm making. Finally, when it comes to ensuring the kids' clothes are clean, Constance said parents shouldn't stress about their children's outfit choices. Personally, I use a bucket method. It's where each child has their own container and all their clothes are placed in there once they've been cleaned. Then it's up to them to fold it if they don't want their clothes to get wrinkled. Any woman with piles of dishes and washing who walks straight out the door for a coffee at her friends, I salute them. Being a good mum or wife or human does not mean spending eternity cleaning your house. If you leave them for long enough, your friends will start doing them. Trust me. But it doesn't end there. Constance recently has created an online course for struggling parents. The course teaches tricks of the trade about parenting, relationships and post-baby life. The Perth mother of seven said she designed a queen plan to help those who feel stressed out, lonely, unsexy, unappreciated and exhausted after having babies. Her six-week video program coaches mothers to rediscover their happiness, fix sleep patterns, anxiety, messed up relationships, loneliness, and learn to love their post-children body. Constance told reporters, Yes, I'm running a business and have mouths to feed, so I have to charge people who enrol on my online course. But the truth is, my passion has always been and will always be about creating happier mums. I'm on a mission to help women get there. Well, 